Here I have the Lenovo Yoga. I'd like to troubleshoot and see what is going on with the laptop. The client says that the computer is not turning on as well as the power button. It doesn't feel any clicking to it. So when I press it, there's no clicker that feels to power up the laptop. So I'm not sure what is going on. Let's troubleshoot together and find out. Hopefully I can turn it on or at least I'll try to extract the data. Alright, I'll be using a Torque T5. There would be the Torque T5. I'm going to remove the screw here. But at first, let me identify the model. This would be the Yoga 613ALC7. They have this Torque screws. Alright, once I've removed all of them, the next step is to go ahead and remove the back cover. Be using a metal prying tool, stick it in between that. Okay, once it's open up, the next step I like to do is disconnect the battery by sliding it down. Alright, let's take a look at the power button here on this side. It looks like it held down with uh, one of the screw here, a Phillips screw. Remove that. It doesn't seem like anything is broken. Okay, the clicker is broken. So this clicker right here, came off. Now we can get a replacement looks like. It's because it run through a, a flex cable right here. This entire clicker just came right off. See if we can still turn on the computer. I know that the battery is disconnected. I'll be using a direct power. Here I have the uh, the charger. Let me hook it up and see if it turns on. So it's connected to the USB-C. I know that the clicker is, wow, it actually turns on. I do see the light. Let's see if I can press it again. I went and double click it twice, so which is my fault. Let's reconnect again. I'm gonna open up the screen and Okay, what happened? The light is on, Lenovo screen is on. 
All right, so it looks like it's booting up to the Windows. You can see that the uh, there's a screen here. I'm not trying to show the uh, the content here. Let me go ahead and shut it down. Okay, the window says shutting down. The fan is trying to shut off. Okay, great. It looks like the connector is the problem. Let's see if we can find a replacement here. Uh, that would be hopefully somewhere listed on this part of it. What I'll do is I'll link it down in the description below. Hopefully we can find a replacement power button here and replace this clicker and get the computer back running again. All right, looks like I found a problem and it looks like it is re repairable. I'll finish up ordering the parts and finish up the repair. As it for now, I'm just going to put everything back together and uh, put it on the site waiting for the parts to come in. Um, for those of you who are kind of want to know what is going on in this laptop, the couple of things that you can do, maybe like the battery replacement if you need to, this is the M.2 SSD drive. You can upgrade to the to the full size SSD drive like this. Okay. All you have to do is to remove that screw here. Uh, this tape right here is to the, the void warranty tape. You can break that and replace with the full size M.2 SSD for a larger M.2 if you need to. Uh, there's no RAM upgrade because the RAM is soldered to the motherboard. So unfortunately on that part. But other than that, um, yeah, I just have to replace this for the repair. Okay, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.